Hey drummers, hope you're doing well, right? I'm struggling. It's something people say over and over and over again when they're playing on the drums. It's five, six out of 10 of every messages that I get. People saying, I'm struggling with this. I'm struggling with that. Have you, have you got any tips? I'm fine. I'm really struggling with this. And this is my, my take on it. And this is no disrespect to anybody. I've said that a thousand times as well. I've experienced that. And this is, again, to repeat, absolutely no disrespect to anybody. I always just, my only judgment I ever make of anybody doing this thing, any of my drumming students, people who watch this channel, channel members, the only judgment I ever make of them is it's just awesome that they're giving this thing a whirl and they're throwing their heart and soul into it and trying to improve themselves, trying to improve their skill on the instrument. Or the only judgment I ever make is just, I'm totally digging that. But what it boils down to so, so often is there's, t as far as I'm concerned, there's two modes, right, a musician, goes into two completely different modes. And one is performance mode. So when you're on stage, you're playing, you're in performance mode, you're doing your best to do everything, deliver everything as smoothly as possible. You're playing songs, you're playing the finished product, you're giving a performance, that's performance mode. And then there's preparation or development or learning mode and completely on, on the other side of things. Now that mode, it's interesting, I would, I would say like your classic sort of maybe not great practice on the drums or amateur mindset, what my dad would call a hack. Like what the hack does is they're only ever in performance mode, right? So what they do is they, they come to something on the drum kit and they, I've talked about this before on this channel, they try to play something and they find it difficult. They, it doesn't flow straight away. And they say, oh, I'm struggling with this. They say, oh, I'm finding this hard. My favorite one is, uh, or least favorite, I suppose, is I'm not getting this and I don't know why. And I think very often the answer is because when we say I'm struggling, what we're trying to do is we're just trying to perform stuff before we've truly learned it. The, and uh, talking about those two modes, so the, the sort of amateur attitude, I would say, or the sort of hack attitude is you, you're always in performance mode. You're just trying to play stuff. And what a great musician does, I think, it's funny because it's almost like they, they've they got a lower opinion of themselves in the first place. Like they've got a, their, their, their estimation of their own abilities is actually lower than the, than the hack attitude, right? Because they sort of understand they won't be able to perform it. They're actually totally cool. They embrace and it, it fully go with the fact they won't be able to play it at first. So what they do is they build it. They say, right, okay, here's this thing. They might try playing it and it doesn't work, but they don't say, oh, I'm struggling with it because there is no struggling. Like struggling is trying to understand. Struggling is trying to perform something that it is not currently reasonable that you would be performing. So there's not struggling. It's just you're just not there yet, and that's okay. That's cool. That's what we're all doing here. Like I'm 31 years into playing the drums. There's a million and one things that I can't currently play smoothly. I'm not struggling with them. I just haven't yet worked up with that particular set of skills to the point that it's reasonable that I'd be able to play it. So what I'm getting at here is that it's really interesting to me how a great musician a really experienced musician who's, who's, who's developed the art of practicing and the, the skills involved in practicing often has a lower estimation of their abilities. Like they say, oh, I'm, I'm totally cool with the fact that I can't play this now. That doesn't mean I'm struggling. I'm just now gonna to go to work on this set of skills. It's why I love things like drum grades. I know I'm always waffling like this, but I love things like drum grades because what they do is they start you off at the, a low level, right? You start off at the initial grade level or debut grade level and you establish the, a basic set of skills, and then what you're doing is you just go up to the next level. You're always kind of in that beautiful sweet spot. You're always in that lovely improvement zone. You're building it, you're crafting your skill, you're nurturing it, you're earning it. Again, you're building it layer by layer. You're not just turning up, opening a grade six book or a grade eight book and going, oh, okay, I'll think, give this a go, and then declaring that you're struggling when you can't play that thing. Like, you've got to give this thing some bloody respect, quite frankly. Like, I think so often we lose sight of this. I've, I've, speaking of my own opinion, I've lost sight of this many a time with drumming and various things. Things like this, you have to build. You start at the beginning, little bit by little bit by little bit. So again, if you find yourself saying, I'm struggling with stuff, Please take a second, because I deal with this so much on a daily basis. Please consider whether there is a possibility that you're trying to perform something, like you're trying to play the finished product version of something that it isn't currently reasonable that you do. Like your physical skills, for example, or maybe your theory understanding skills or whatever, some combination of those, aren't there yet that it's reasonable that you would do that. Classic example, examples of this are things like trying to play fast enough for stuff, trying to play coordinated grooves, trying to get the two quick kicks on the bass drum that go between the hi-hat, that's sort of classic grade three, grade four thing. Ask yourself, is it reasonable at this point? Have I done the work that it was reasonable that I would play this thing? Because just from my experience of being a drum teacher and being a musician, when people say I'm struggling, like 
90 plus percent of the time that is the answer it's that they're trying to perform something that it isn't currently reasonable based on the set of skills they've acquired up to this point and developed at this point it isn't currently reasonable they expect to play it and i think it's it's interesting how often we all we all fall into that that trap so to sum up there's just two two modes what a great musician does is when they're on stage when they're playing something when they're performing something they are truly in performance mode at that point every choice you make is towards the thing sounding as great as possible flowing having the great emotional impact all that stuff you're performing it you're playing it but make no mistake great musicians have this complete other mode which they spend the bulk of their practice time in which is learning development mode half the time a lot of the time when you hear a great musician practice to the casual listener, it doesn't sound very good at all. People are often confused when I say that, but the reason for that is they're often deep in that development mode. They'll be working on something one note at a time, right? They'll be working on something coordinated. They'll be saying it out loud to themselves. All right, hi-hat, bass drum, snare drum, whatever the thing is, they're programming it in. Again, it's almost like, I heard this phrase recently, the, the power of low self-esteem. I think there's quite a bit in this. I mean, in, in the drumming world, anyway, this can be really, really useful. It's kind of accepting that I'm not currently in a position to, to learn these things. You go in, great musicians happily, I mean, it's, they understand it's part of the process. They spend a bulk of their time in that beautiful development mode where they're not performing the thing, they're building it up. Like it could be playing the thing at a, you know, a third the speed or even slower than it would be at performance tempo. It could be saying the notes out loud in terms of building up a coordinated thing, saying the combinations out loud and building it up. It's having that patience, that long-term view, that resilience. If you find yourself saying I'm struggling, please consider once again whether you're just trying to perform something that it isn't currently reasonable that you would and consider whether a great musician at that point, what they might do is they might just say, okay, it's totally cool that I can't currently perform this thing in the smooth performance fashion that I would like. I'll go to work. I'll build up the, the core physical skills, the elements involved. I hope this all makes a bit of sense. So it's a really interesting phrase. It's the phrase I've heard the most over the 20 whatever years of being a drum teacher. Um, I'm struggling almost always, not can't speak for everybody, of course, in every situation, but almost always when we dig into a, a question or an in, inquiry that starts with, I'm struggling with dot, 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 the answer is, again, to repeat, you're trying to perform something that isn't currently, it isn't currently reasonable that you would expect to do well at. So do what a great musician does, go to work, go come out of performance mode into that beautiful development learning mode, build the skills up, be willing for it to not sound very good. I think people are often confused when I say um, great musicians, when they practice, often don't sound very good. It's because they're deep in development learning mode. In the end, obviously that's just the start point, you then, whatever the thing is, you work it up, you work it up, you work it up. In the end, you get to, you earn the right to get into performance mode with whatever the thing is, and it will sound great. So, hope that all makes a bit of sense. Rock and roll, cheers.